three healthy air fryer recipes. They are quick, they are easy and there is minimal cleaning to do. In this video we're going to make some healthy falafels with a yogurt sauce. We're going to follow up with some omelette and finish off with some simple tini. Super healthy, quick, let's just start cooking. For the falafel we're going to be needing chickpeas. We want to start off with the dry ones which overnight we wash them and then we soak them in water and then you end up with something like this. If you do it with the ones from the can, it actually doesn't come out as crispy as you want it to be. So if you got time, that's the way to go. Step number one, we drain our chickpeas and we dry them with a clean cloth. Then we mix it up. In a mixer, our beans, our, our chickpeas, some lemon zest, and then we shove in parsley, a little bit of basil freshness, salt, some pepper, just a little bit of our fresh onion, and then optional, in case you're not dating, some garlic but we're gonna skip it tonight. And we take it for a spin. And then you blitz it all together until you get this kind of consistency, which is not a puree. You still want a little bit of coarseness because that's how we make it extra crunchy. Swirl of extra virgin olive oil. And we start making our bolts. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil on top. And I should have put some on the base as well, which I forgot, so next time you just do it. For this one, we're gonna do five minutes, then we're gonna check it, and then we're gonna do another five minutes at 190 degrees Celsius. And for this sauce, super simple, like we said, the base is gonna be yogurt. So just find yourself plain white yogurt, spring onion, Again, garlic is optional, I'm not gonna do it. Our cucumber, and this sauce is out of freshness. Here you can take the whole cucumber, I just like using the sides, I feel they're a lot more crunchy. Ooh, let's check what's happening here. Five minutes have gone by. This have begin, have begun to crispen up. Another five minutes. At this point, you can add some more oil if you want. If you've got a little spray thing, you can do it. If you have a little bit more of the oil like I do, you can put it on top, but it depends how healthy you want to be. We're just going to add a little bit more of the olive oil just on top of it. Of course, the more olive oil you use, the crunchier they get. So in with the cucumber. Okay, making a mess here. Lemon, let's give it a bit of a squeeze. So we want both the zest and the juice. Salt. And pepper. And now we give this a mix. Oh. It's light, it's tangy. Oh, really lovely. Okay, it's gonna be amazing. And this is our finished product. I ended up cooking it for two minutes extra, so if we had done 12 minutes to get at the level of crispiness I liked. And this already to be served. And when it comes to cleaning, you just take this, throw it in the bin, no cleaning at all. But let's go back to the start of our show. These are nice and crispy. Of course, they're not going to be as flavorful as if you fried them, but also it's going to be much lighter. You can have this so much more often without feeling guilty. And if you are overindulge over Christmas like myself, this is an excellent way of going back to your full regime. Okay, I get it, it's healthy, but is it any good? 
we're gonna try. Doesn't work. Sauce. Mmm. Look, hear the crunch. Despite we didn't fry this, super crunchy. Mm. And next up is the omelette. Everybody loves omelette because, well, you can do whatever you want with omelette. So we're gonna have one with some cheese, some spinach, some cherry tomatoes, but you know, you put whatever you want in it. You wanna put meat, put meat, uh, do whatever you want. But this is how you do it. So we're two people, four eggs. One. Two. Three. And four. To it, we add the staples, which is a splash of milk, salt, and if you like pepper. Quick whisk. And today we're gonna add some spinach. We already washed them, they're here. Our spring onion from before, we're gonna finish it off just a little bit. I like cherry tomatoes in my omelet. Actually, I like cherry tomatoes in everything. So we're gonna put a few. Some spinach, this is fresh spinach from the market. Some basil. Using herbs in your cooking just elevates it. I mean, you need to learn to appreciate and start using some herbs. Here I'm using basil because you freshen it up. You can use parsley, you can use anything you want, but start using herbs, they're amazing. For the cheese, I'm gonna have scamorza. I'm gonna make it into little cubes. And scamorza is a great vegetarian cheese. So if you're so inclined, it's a great option. They make it both normal, like this one, kind of like sweet scamorza, and there is also this smoky one, which is my favorite, but my wife doesn't like it, so this time we're using this one. And this goes in as well. Now, I like to put some parmigiano. So parmigiano is neither vegan nor vegetarian, so if you're so inclined, don't use it, because they use rennet. So for this one, we want it. 180, 10 minutes. That's what it's gonna get your omelet ready. Parchment paper underneath. I was gonna make sure that we don't make a mess. Pour it in. And this goes in. Roast, 180, 10 minutes. Let's go. And as the omelet cooks, we make the involtini. This is one of my favorites. By the way, involtine and air fryer are much made in heaven. Today I'm gonna to show you like a really simple, easy version, but you can cover it in breadcrumbs and add eggs and flour, make it as fatty as you want. But you know, today we're keeping it lean. So uh, plastic chopping board when you're using raw meat, so you can just put it in the dishwasher and it's just more sanitary. We're gonna take really thin cut of beef. Like that, we're gonna have some spinach. Popeye's food makes you nice and strong. Slice of Parma ham. Our scamorza, we're like this. And then we start rolling things up. Like that, perfect. Once the volti are made, olive oil around it, and you close them up. For this, the meat is so thin, I want them to cook really high, really fast. So I'm actually gonna be using this little tray to put on top, just to add even more speed in the cooking, get them closer to the heat source, Inside, 190, we're gonna start with seven minutes and take it from there. So the egg is beeped, well, the omelet, and come check it out. So let's take it out from here. 
and again, there's nothing to clean. So this is put back and you just need to focus yourself on eating this. And the involtini are ready as well. Oozing with the cheese. Look at that. A little bit of salt. Oh, look at this, guys. Beautifully juicy. Oh, look at this. Let's try it out. Mm, this is delicious. Can't believe it's healthy. Mm. And now, we get to taste the omelette as well because, well, we've done all the hard work. Might as well enjoy it. Mm, nice and cheesy. Delicious. Okay, these are just some three super simple ideas how you can use the air fryer to make healthy meals quickly without making too much of a mess. Hope you enjoyed it. Buon appetito.